quite frankly, you've only done this a handful of times. So many club events these next couple weeks. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. This is gonna be a few days in my life in dental school. My name's Haley, I'm a D2 at University of Michigan School of Dentistry, and it is November right now, so we're wrapping up our last month of classes and exams, and then we have tons of finals the second and third week of December. I talked about this in the most recent podcast, which if you don't know, I have a podcast that I post every single Monday morning called Dental Download Podcast, and I was just talking about this in this week's intro that last week I had such bad brain fog, so frequently things were just going not the way I wanted and little things were wrong and it was like irritating. And I think a lot of people feel that way as we're approaching the end of the semester, trying to get through those last midterms, that end of semester push is really hard and we're all just kind of like crawling our way to get to finals, to get to break because we all really need that long break with no school. So that's kind of where we're at right now. This week, I'm very busy, which is why I thought it would be a good week to vlog. Really, the past couple weeks have been this busy, and the next week is going to be that busy. But I will take you to SimLab today. We're going to be incredibly stressed, I think. I'm going to get there about an hour early because I'm really hoping between 1 and 4.30, which is how long I can stay there, that I can get our two assignments done for the day and do a full practice practical, which would be a preparation for 2.30, a crown prep, as well as doing the provisional restoration so that I have one practice under my belt for our practical, which is on Wednesday afternoon. It is November 8th today, but the past week we had temperatures in the 30s, so today it's like 60, which is quite a blessing. So I wanna enjoy the nice weather and I know I'm gonna be cooped up in the school for pretty much the rest of the day. sitting on the couch and I'm about to watch some YouTube and have a little snack here before I make dinner. This week I got HelloFresh. I think I mentioned in another video, I just kind of am getting it sporadically now pretty much when the meals look really good. Otherwise, I'm just cooking at home and there's honestly so many club events these next couple weeks. As you saw in the schedule for the week, I have Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday dinners covered. Tuesday, Wednesday is ASDA. Thursday is my fraternity, dental fraternity, Alpha Omega initiation dinner. So that's like fancy food. I'm excited for that. But quick little debrief of today. You saw a lot of the clips. But my main thoughts, presentation for presentation skills, class, the final thing went really well. It was just pass fail and I don't think I bombed it to any degree. So I think it was fine. And then lab went really well because I got there an hour early and I was able to get my two projects complete by 2.30, got everything signed off and turned in, and then I took a few moments to prepare everything for the practical, which just meant screwing in the typodont teeth and making sure my occlusion on my practical typodont was good. I made a couple stents for the practical day to make sure that they're really crisp and good and capture the anatomy well. And I wanted to make a couple in case they break or something.
and then I was able to do a practice practical and I was pretty happy with how it turned out. I think I'm going to be fine on practical day. I'm pretty fast at crown preps. So once the tooth is prepped, you can keep remaking the provisional as many times as you need to until you run out of time, until you like the way it looks. So I don't think I'll have an issue, but I've also had so many crazy things happen with all of my practice provisionals that I feel like I could handle a lot of weird things that might come at me on practical day. So I'm hoping it'll go fine on Wednesday. The plan for the rest of the night is honestly just gonna be relaxing, making dinner, gonna do some laundry, and just hang out. That way I can feel well rested for tomorrow, wake up kinda early, go to the gym, and do some studying for my midterm on Thursday. Keep on searching for the heart that I cannot find. No matter how long I'm going, I feel there's only one I'm like. So maybe I'll keep on pushing. Myself back into the love Cause I need her love I need all her love We had a river that was rolling But then the waves came crashing down Maybe I was too controlling But I was nearly about to drown well, Come on, forgive me, baby Hello, back from clinic and a meeting in clinic, it was just an assist on a new patient exam and cleaning and then I had a meeting for Christian Dental Association that I was leading the Bible study. And now I'm back here. I have like a minute or two to change out of scrubs into like a business casual. And then I'm heading over to a restaurant for an ASDA event through the Michigan Dental Association about financial planning. So we have dinner and drinks provided there. I'm gonna let myself sleep in. It's about 9.30 right now. I'm gonna eat some breakfast and then I'm going to literally just watch lectures for our perio midterm tomorrow until I leave for SimLab around 12.45 or one because they like us to set up for the practical in advance even though the practical doesn't start until two. Alrighty, I just got back from night two of three nights of covered dinner drink situations because of club things. It's Wednesday night. Before I recap the practical, I just wanted to say we were at an ASDA event at Vinology hosted by MB2 Dental, which is a dental practice management group. And they handle the managerial side and all the dentists that were there, there were about six of them, have been with them for many years and their practices production is like doubled. So they're still taking home the same amount of money, but they don't have to run everything. So it seems like a really great company. I wanted to show you guys all the cute stuff they gave me because I am the lunch and learn coordinator, kind of event coordinator, honestly, for our chapter. So they gave me a really nice gift for setting this up. In this cute bag, they had a little card for me with a little gift card, which was so, so sweet, all so sweet. And then a brewmate, which I've been wanting one for forever, so that was amazing. Then they gave out these tumblers, koozies, our name tags, um, some pens, chapsticks, they gave that out to everybody. They also threw in some candies in my bag, hand sanitizer, pop socket, and this really nice tote bag that I'll probably use for groceries and then also if I ever have like a lot of stuff, if I'm bringing it to study or something. So very, very sweet of them. And I'll quickly recap the practical too. I took some clips, I actually made a TikTok, so you really should follow me, Haley Schultz Dental, same as my Instagram on TikTok. I've been posting every single day for about the past week and a half. I'm gonna keep trying to post at least once a day because I've heard that's the way to do it if you want to keep reaching more people. And that's a really good place for content these days. It's just a little bit easier and faster than YouTube. But the practical today, as I mentioned, I made a TikTok of it. It did not go well <laughs> if you watch that TikTok. Um, my prep was honestly good. I was totally fine and happy with my prep. I think it should get probably an A in my opinion, but the temporary crown was ugly. It just did not look good and I 
I just wasn't happy with it. It looked okay as soon as it came out of the stent, but the interproximal margins, they were open basically, interproximally. It looked okay, but by the time I had to keep reducing so that the occlusion wasn't too high, it didn't even really look like a molar. Like most of the cusps were gone because I had to reduce it so much. And that was just frustrating because it's an automatic fail if your occlusion is too high. So when you're biting, if they're not biting evenly, I had to keep reducing it. And I eventually got the occlusion fine. So I don't think I failed it because that's the only reason you really fail. I probably got like a C just because it wasn't that smooth and the margins were open. I think the interproximal contacts will get full credit. I think the contours were off because the margins were open. My interproximal contours didn't look right because it was missing some right here. You can kind of see in the picture. It was just really bad. I'm not proud of the work, but it happens. I stayed like the whole time. I kept trying to fix it and it just wasn't really working. But we'll see how it turns out. I should know next week and I'm sure I'll share it on Instagram like I always do. I usually post stories every single day on Instagram of just like generally what I did for school that day basically. So make sure you're following me on Instagram as well. Those are probably the platforms where the content's going up the most real time these days versus YouTube is a few weeks behind as you can tell with this video given that it's November 10th and then you're probably seeing this in December I would bet. So that is that but I'm gonna go ahead and do ortho and then I will talk to you all tomorrow on Thursday at some point either before or after those three two classes and the exam. All right, I think you're all due for some updates. So it's around 3.30 right now. I had ortho, endo, perio exam, presentation skills, Zoom call to go over my final presentation that I had in this video. I believe I passed. Biggest critique was slow down when you're talking, which I think super easy for all of us to talk faster when we're nervous. And then endo case study was fine, just participation, same with our ortho class, got both of those assignments turned in. And then the perio exam was pretty easy as I expected, really clear to what we needed to know. And I got an A on it, we already got our scores back. So that's a really good feeling heading into almost the weekend. All I have left to do today is prepare for our dentures quiz tomorrow and then once it's like five o'clock i need to be back here to get ready because i'm leaving at 6 15 to pick up one of my classmates and then we're heading over to weber's hotel and their restaurant for the ao initiation which is the dental fraternity that i'm in we have an initiation dinner and award ceremony where they give awards to faculty the dean will be there a bunch of faculty will be there so we get to have a nice cocktail hour and formal dinner, get photos taken, but I'll definitely make sure I close out this vlog at some point. So I want to wrap this video up with some final thoughts about practicals, remediation, successes, failures in dental school. The quickest way I can sum up what I want to share is just by saying that it's totally okay if you don't pass a practical. Let that sink in for a minute. It doesn't mean you won't be a good dentist. It doesn't mean you're going to endanger your patients. It doesn't mean that you're lazy. It doesn't mean that you don't have skills for this. All it means is that in that one day, some compilation of things went wrong that made you miss the mark. It doesn't mean you don't know what you're doing. It doesn't mean that if you did it again the next day, you would still fail. At least in my case, I think that it was just an off moment. And there's certain elements of the way that these practicals are graded or the way that we're taking the impressions like the stents that maybe don't even really line up to what it's going to be like when I'm working on a patient. So although on Wednesday I was fairly discouraged, my week got progressively better and better with doing well on the exam on Thursday, having a lot of time this weekend, it's Saturday when I'm filming this, to just chill and do my own thing, clean up my space, clean up my mental space, just feel refreshed, spend some time like with me, which I think is always really important to feel close with yourself and just kind of have yourself in check. And that is what I've been able to do over the past couple days since that practical. And I think it's just important to reflect and to recognize that one score, one day, a couple hours of a performance 
isn't gonna make or break your success in dentistry. Obviously we have to pass boards, obviously we have to do very great work on all of our patients one day, but quite frankly you've only done this a handful of times compared to you're gonna keep practicing more and more and more because you care, because you do wanna be a great dentist and you will be a great dentist. The more that you do that, the more your skills are gonna improve and then you will have done a temporary crown 500 times. And I would bet that then you could pass a dental school practical. But when I've only done them 10, 15 times, of course there might be a time that doesn't go as well. The main takeaway here either way is to not get down on yourself, to know that it happens to pretty much everyone at least once, if not multiple times, probably me multiple times throughout D1 and D2 year, that you're going to score low on a practical or fail or have to remediate, however you want to call it, and it's okay. And it doesn't mean that you won't be a great dentist, so I just hope that whatever is going on with you in dental school or as a pre-dent, you don't let one bad experience, whether that's academics, whether that's in an extracurricular, in your job, whatever it may be, discourage you and keep you off of your path of being successful because you will be successful. And just remember why, remember your why is so important. I'll put a video here and in the description, which is my why for why dentistry so really honing in on that is one of my biggest tips for pre-dental students and that can help push you through those tough times like the DAT or a really tough class that you're in or writing your personal statement whatever it may be that can really help push you through moments that you might need extra motivation and even now as a dental student reflecting on my why my goals as a professional one day and my goals for serving patients also really helps me when I'm lacking that motivation. So full circle there, that's what I wanna end with this video. So I hope you all enjoyed. You can find a good balance of content creation over here on YouTube as well as on my Instagram and on my TikTok, which again, I've been trying to post every single day on there. And both of the platforms, Instagram and TikTok, are just at Haley Schultz Dental. So be sure to check those out. Be sure to subscribe to this channel and I will see you in my next video.